Hey, I'm Adam with Wings and Wheels, and today we're going to be going over Aerox Oxygen Systems portable oxygen cylinders. The cool thing about Aerox is they don't just offer built-in cylinders. They also offer fully portable cylinders that come in a lot of variations, making it really convenient for glider pilots. Now, airplane pilots are not missing out either. Aerox offers a mount that straps to the back of the seat to hold your oxygen cylinder. Aerox's portable cylinders come in various different sizes, with the smallest being 6 cubic feet and the largest being 33 cubic feet. These cylinders can be paired with any of Aerox's regulators, which include the single outlet 400R1 model with or without a gauge and the six outlet 400R6 model with or without a gauge. Now keep in mind, these cylinders are meant to be used with Aerox's OxySaver cannulas. Now, while you can use a standard cannula, it's not gonna be as efficient as if you were using an OxySaver cannula. The data that I'm about to show is when we are using an OxySaver cannula on the portable cylinders. Each cylinder has its own unique use depending on multiple factors, such as the size, the number of people using the system, and the altitude that you're going to be flying at. For example, cylinder A is really small and can be stored in tight spaces, having only a volume of 6 cubic feet can supply up to 12 hours of oxygen when only one person is using it. But this is only at 10,000 feet and below. You can see from the graph that as you go up in altitude, the cylinder's time of use decreases. This is only with one person. The time of use you will get out of the cylinder will only decrease with more people as shown by the graph. Let's compare this to cylinder F, one of Aerox's largest portable cylinders. With a volume of 33 cubic feet, it is significantly bigger with dimensions of 15 and a half inches by 6.8 inches. While you might have trouble fitting this cylinder in the same place as a cylinder A, you will get much more time of use out of this cylinder. Looking at the graph, just one person using this cylinder at 10,000 feet and below will get at least 66.7 hours of use. Keep in mind though, that as you increase in altitude and add more people to the system, the time of use you will get out of the cylinder will decrease. If you would like to see the technical data on the rest of Aerox's cylinders that you just saw here, I've linked a document in the description below where you can find all that data. With so many options available for portable cylinders, the real question is, which one should you choose? The first question you gotta ask yourself is how many people are using your system? You can choose between one person, two people, four people, and six people or less. The next question you need to ask yourself is how long you're going to be at oxygen necessary altitudes and how high are you going to be going? All of these questions are going to factor in to which cylinder you choose. Once you answer all those questions, you can reference this chart linked in the description below, which is going to help you choose your cylinder. With a variety of cylinders available, you'll be able to find the perfect one for your system. All right, well, that is going to be it for this video. If you are interested in learning more about Aerox's products, check out our face mask versus cannula video on our YouTube channel. If you are interested in a portable cylinder for yourself, I've linked our website in the description below where you can learn more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.